Yo, what is up guys? What is up? It has been a minute. It has been a minute. If you guys haven't noticed, I've been slacking on the uploads and this weekend in particular was a huge reason for why I've been slacking on the uploads. Both the before and the after of this weekend was very draining, stressful, tiresome, insane, but overall it was a absolutely huge milestone and success for this company right here, which is my company. So, like the intro stated, there was four events going on in two different states. First off, you had the two Ohio events, which I was not part of. I could not make it to Ohio because of other events. I basically gave Kalen the challenge of basically working into kind of like an upper role in this company, giving him his first challenge of handling all the logistics for two individual homecomings, and not small homecomings, two homecomings of about 300 students per homecoming and that is both Cambridge and Meadowbrook you guys have seen them multiple times on my video It's kind of sad. I couldn't DJ them this year But Kalen handled Cambridge which he did last year and we got uh, our boy Hex from college He ended up doing Meadowbrook's and uh, the kids said he did better than me. Here's some clips Now you had those two events in Ohio going on under the Fusion Sounding Lighting name, but also here in North Carolina, we had a ginormous homecoming, Northwest Guilford High School, a little over 800 students coming to this massive event. And it was by far the largest setup that I've done completely my company. <laughs> So now this video is going to pick up a Friday night when we were setting up for the homecoming. That was the earliest that we could get in was 7 p.m. Friday night to set up in their gymnasium. What's up? Welcome to Northwest Guilford Gymnasium. We are here with, um, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a lot of gear back here. My trailer was literally, if you guys were on Instagram, sorry, I'm sweaty because we just loaded in, but my trailer was jam packed full for gear that we're doing at this event. So this is a homecoming. I am not personally DJing it, but I'm going to get Rio to film some stuff for you guys because this thing is going to be in Saying 860 students right now. We're in a little bit of a dilemma right now We just loaded in everything and we're trying to figure out if we can raise the basketball hoops or not This is an older gym and it looks like it's manual winches to raise and lower the basketball hoops So I'm not sure if they actually can do it or not currently we want to set up down there But we might have a secondary plan and set up back here behind me on the longer end But right now we're gonna start off by doing string bulb lighting up in the balcony that's gonna be pretty dope so that's where we're going now i will update you guys when we have the string bulb lighting hung up the uh the hoops up and we're clear to set up so we're gonna move on we're gonna start with stage move on the trussing and um then pipe and drape and then cabling wire we got a lot it's gonna be late it's like eight o'clock it's gonna be late I apologize, our battery died. I'm not really sure where we're at in this, but um, we've been busting some ass. As you can see behind me, all of the pipe and drape is up. Pretty much everything is wired up. Just some minor things here and there. We got this set up over here with some two more movers and totems. This set up over here with two more totems and movers. String bulb lighting up top. Everything is wired up. Wiring takes forever. Just like it literally felt like we were wired for three hours. We're done day one. We got the monogram all set up. We got the laser all set up. Basically, tomorrow we're gonna come in and finalize everything in the morning and then we're heading off to a wedding. So, yeah, it's late. It's midnight now. We've been here since seven o'clock. We won't, we only, we really didn't work for an hour. Half an hour was loading in, half an hour was eating, and then, yeah. So, catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is currently uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Get the computer. 
prepping all the stuff for my wedding this evening. Getting my music prepped, getting all that organized. It's early. And we are here. We are here. Check it out. Check it out. 1K watt laser up on the ceiling. Got a little bit of an animation on the backdrop. I'm going to try and lower the brightness on that because it's really bright. <laughs> Guys, it's madness. It's crazy. Mario has no sleep. He's he's dying. I'm stressing. But we're all set up here. It's it's madness. Uh, let me walk you through the setup real quick. We will be back later before this ends probably. So uh, we'll get more footage then. But let me walk you through what we got. 50 feet string bulb lighting up top. Got 20 feet of pipe and drape. 12 foot high right here. Georgia Expo. Four element hexes right there. You got two Rockville totems. You got two ADJ InnoSpot Pros. Same thing over here, exact same thing over here with the elements, the movers, all that. Main rig, 25 feet of global truss on Dura Truss crank stands. We have four InnoSpot Pros. We have an Epson projector on the monogram on the back wall. We got a 1K watt laser. We got two Wash FX2s. We got two ADJ Mega Hex Pars in the corners. We have PRX 712s, JBL SRX 815s on top of more Duratrust crank stands to get them up nice and high. They're actually on the downward tilt because we're in a gym. 100 feet of 12 foot high pipe and drape along the back. Six JBL VRX 918 SPs. ADJ haze generator. 8x12 collapsible stage. ADJ event table custom sign. Another par there. Mario's going to have his mixer up there. We got Chave Show Express running on the side. Chave Show Express running on my laptop. Back behind here is where the DriveRack PA2 lies. This is actually a second DriveRack PA2 with the network connector, firmament power conditioner, all that fun stuff back here. But wait, there's more. We gotta go out in the hallway for the rest of this stuff. There's also ADJ element hexes. There's two right there, and then there's two right there to make 12 total in here. But yeah, that is the setup behind me. Mario is gonna rock it out tonight with Joey. He's gonna be the assistant. We're gonna go do a wedding, and then we'll come back when this ends. So they got a photo booth down here, and then in this hallway, there's 18 of these ADJ mega QA goes out in this hallway making red, green, blue, all that fun stuff. Right now we're heading over to Friends Farm. You guys are very familiar with this venue if you've been following the channel. We're actually on there as like their all-inclusive package, only vendors. So us and one other DJ company, we're the only two that are on their all-inclusive package options. So we get booked out there a lot. Kaylin's been out there the last two weekends. I'm out there this weekend and next weekend. And I think Kaylin's back there the weekend after that. So we, we DJ a lot out there. Quick stop at the bow of the Jangles to get some food because it's literally the last restaurant before we get there. Welcome back to Friends Farm. We're gonna be doing some interesting string bulb lighting over this ceremony area today. So enjoy some time lapses as we set up string bulb lighting. Let's go. What's up? We are all set, ready to rock and roll. I apologize for not filming much, but let's take you guys through what we're doing for this wedding right now as we got about 15, 20 minutes before we start and bride's running behind right now, so probably like 20 minutes before we start. So, this is the main reception area right here. Let's take you through what we got, including this awesome monogram. First thing right here, we have the gravity stand with our Epson projector up here, and we're running just the USB into the Epson projector. Colorado sound and light mounting system for the projector and the monogram itself is from projectorgram Cheryl and Andrew is this wedding today. We have the ADJ event table 2 We have two of the Rockville air assist tripod stands with the on-stage black scrims Avante a 15 speakers these speakers have been impressing the heck out of me lately They bump and they get loud for how much they cost these things are impressive We also have two Chave wash FX twos for our main room lighting as well as one ADJ mega hex par down here to light up the event tape We are running the SZ coffin as always which 
consists of the Pioneer SZ inside of an all black Pro X case, custom modded with ports and everything with a DBX driver like PA2, laptop stand that folds into the thing. And tonight for DMX, we don't have DMX. So the plan was to bring the ADJ Airstream Bridge and I thought I brought the ADJ Airstream Bridge box, but what I really brought was the ADJ Wi-Fi receiver transmitter which doesn't do DMX. Not a big deal, it's a very simple uh, sort of setup here. So basically I have them on sound active mode, um, which is gonna work for this event, and we're just gonna plug them in Master Slave when the event starts. So yeah, close me in the comments, I forgot to bring DMX. It's gonna work because I'm gonna play some killer music and we're gonna get this party going. It is an extremely large crowd, 170 people, 160, 170 for this venue. This venue normally holds under 100, so they're gonna be setting up tables out there. Speaking about there, we did string ball blighting, so let me show you that and the ceremony. So we are hooked up to this tree right here, running to the pole over there and running back, and then one more with uh, roughly about, say, 125, 150 feet of string ball blighting that we're doing. LD Systems Maui 5 Go right there. We're gonna be using Altel Stealth Wireless to transmit because they're gonna be setting up tables and chairs down here as well. And over there, we got the battery powered. Uh, I'll show you guys in a second. But let's walk through the string ball. Let's show you it a little closer. 90 pounds of extra rubber weight, 75 pound base plate. And back here, we got the custom battery powered ceremony rig. Yamaha MG6, Pyro Technica 3000 fourth gens. My laptop, virtual DJ for the ceremony. Serato for the reception. Great. We're playing wireless audio down there now with the Alto Stealth and we're playing music up here as well. So we're running behind though because the uh, ceremony started about half an hour late. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, I want to welcome everyone to the wedding reception of Cheryl and Andrew. Can someone please make some noise for our newlyweds out there? Please make some noise. Put your hands together. We're going to be introducing in some very special and very important people this evening. DJ, drop that track. Starting off, we got our grandparents, and we're going to welcome in Cheryl's grandparents, that is Mr. and Mrs. Jimmy Jones. Please make some noise. And Mr. and Mrs. James Thomas Shoemaker. We also have Pat and Tommy Holt. Moving into our parents, we have Cheryl's mom, Miss Jennifer Baldwin, accompanied by Mr. Randy Baldwin. Mr. Bo Wilkes, accompanied by Miss Elizabeth Murphy. Miss Lynn Shoemaker, accompanied by Mr. Brandon Holtz. Next, we got the coolest guys here. We got the ring bearers, Mikey and Justin. Make some noise for Levi and Michael. At this time, I need everyone to please put them hands together. I need you to scream, I need you to shout, I need you to make as much noise as you possibly can for the new Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Hall.
We, we already started tearing down, but you, you can watch the end process. starting on this but uh, we gotta break everything down tonight it is hot in here they do have footage they got a ton of footage so apparently we're gonna insert the footage either here at the beginning I don't know where we're gonna put it but uh, we have footage from the event if it's too much I might make a separate video anyways lit Wanted to update you guys that we made it we pulled it off almost three o'clock in the morning very very impressive we broke everything down Loaded it into the trailer from that homecoming in like two hours and 20 minutes, maybe two and a half hours with four of us. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. The trailer has not only the homecoming stuff, but also the wedding stuff. And literally, there's like no room left. Like, it is packed to the max. Anyways, this was a crazy, crazy night. I haven't even checked in on Kaylin. Kaylin was doing two homecoming. Okay, I didn't. Even, I don't even think I told you guys this, but we were doing a homecoming here. I was doing a wedding. Kaylin was in Ohio doing uh, Cambridge's homecoming, and then we had Hex in Ohio at Meadowbrook doing Meadowbrook's homecoming. So we had four events going on at the same day. Lots of moving parts. I will check in with you guys tomorrow, maybe. Maybe I'm probably just gonna have to narrate over this footage because I don't even know what's on this, what's filmed from the wedding, what's filmed on this camera from the homecoming, but it's wild, it's crazy, and uh, we're going to bed, so. Bye. And that right there, guys, ended the October 5th madness. We finished up at about 3, 3.30 in the morning is when me and Drake got back to the crib. Honestly, it was actually weird when we were like tearing down the homecoming. I was super happy and like relaxed. And I think it's just because the stress was over. The events, it, it, everything went perfectly flawless. 
The, the events in Ohio were amazing. The events that we did here were amazing. Northwest Guilford has already booked us back to do their twerp dance, their prom dance. Um, you, you can't get much better. I got an amazing review out of it. And there you go. Four events, same day. It was crazy. It was wild. It actually kicked off the madness of October just in general. October is double and triple booked every single weekend for the company, which might not sound crazy for you guys, but when you're the owner of the company and you got to worry about all the other DJs that are out doing these events, it's very stressful in my position to make sure all the logistics happen the way that they're supposed to. But personally, I wouldn't want to do anything else other than this, so I enjoy every single minute of it. It's awesome. It's crazy. I'm currently prepping for three weddings going down this weekend for the company so stay tuned for all the gig logs guys it's going to be crazy follow all the madness tutorial videos have been kind of put on postpone because of just the the amount of leads all we're getting tons of leads too um it's just it's just been crazy running the company company comes first you guys understand you guys know that tutorial videos are coming though i am filming those here and there. But if you like this crazy madness and you support everything I'm doing and all this craziness of fusion sound and lighting, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, guys. Let me know questions, comments, concerns. What'd you guys think of this? How many events have you done personally? Are you a big multi-op owner yourself and you've done 20 something events in the same night? Let me know. Also, don't forget that to hit that subscribe button to watch all the amazing, awesome content that I already spoke about that is coming. Don't forget to click that notification bell. Follow me on social media, Instagram. I'm getting really close to 6,000 followers on Instagram, so follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to get to 10K. Let's get it. But at this point, I'm just kind of rambling, guys. So, like always, keep the record spinning, guys, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. I can see it coming in the air tonight. Hold on.